Good morning. Good morning and thank you for coming. My name is Debbie Rose and I'm the chair of the Committee on Youth Services. And we are also joined by council members Brennan and Eugene. Today we will be voting on pro proposed intro number 480A, sponsored by council member Daniel Drum. This proposed intro would require the Department of Youth and Community Development, or DYCD, to create a runaway and homeless youth immigration information plan. We previously conducted a hearing on this piece of legislation on September 17th, 2018. As part of our joint oversight hearing with the Immigration Committee on LGBTQ Immigrant Youth, after receiving valuable feedback from those that testified, we have amended this bill into a piece of legislation that I think that we can all agree will help runaway and homeless youth, or RHY, who are immigrants. It's tough to be a young person these days. It's even tougher to be a young person who identifies as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or questioning. They sometimes face rejection, by their communities, families, and friends. Sadly, some wind up on the streets. That is why so many LGBTQ youth are disproportionately represented among the city's runaway and homeless youth population. We are thankful to Speaker Johnson for making runaway and homeless youth a priority so that the city can provide more shelter, services, and support for these youngsters. But there is one subset of our youth population that we do not spend enough time talking about. They are the topic of this bill that we are voting on today. They are our runaway and homeless youth, uh, runaway and homeless immigrant youth. As I mentioned, it is rough being a young person, but when you are also an immigrant, your life challenges can increase exponentially, especially if you are undocumented it is no secret that an anti-immigrant wave has infected parts of this country, including even our own federal government. But we are New Yorkers, and we are proud that over one-third of our city population was born outside of the United States. The city supports these New Yorkers through courses such as English as a Second Language and provides assistance in assessing social and community services but nearly one third of the runaway and homeless youth are victims of sexual exploitation or engage in sex work as their only means of income to survive for undocumented runaway and homeless youth who have no path towards a green card or legal work authorization. Sex work sometimes becomes their only career choice and that is unacceptable. Proposed intro number 480A would require the Department of Youth and Community Development to create a runaway and homeless youth immigration information plan for RHY in contact with department-funded programs and services. This plan would provide runaway homeless youth with information about resources, services, and referrals related to immigra immigration relief and benefits, including legal services. This information would potentially help runaway and homeless youth immigrants obtain permanency status in the United States and give them hope that they can live their lives free of persecution, exploitation, and victimization. As such, Proposed intro 480A represents a great step towards helping runaway and homeless youth immigrants obtain the valuable services and resources they need. So I wholeheartedly urge my colleagues to vote yes on this important piece of legislation. And um, we will now call the roll. Matthew DiStefano, Committee Clerk, Committee on Youth Services. Roll call vote on proposed intro number 480A. Chair Rose. I vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Chin. Permission to explain my vote? Yes. Thank you, Chair, and I wanted to thank you for your leadership on this and also Council Member Drum. 
You know, I was really happy that we had the opportunity uh, to visit Covenant's house last month. And I think speaking with those youth really made me realize how important it is for them to have information and know about the resources that are available to them. And that is so important. That's why with this legislation that we will also, you know, take care of our immigrant youth oftentimes do not have the support that they need. Um, so I am proudly vote I and please add me on uh, as a co-sponsor to the bill. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Chen, and thank you for those remarks. Our visit to Covenant House was very elucidating and, um, and just reinforced the need for not only resources, but information to be distributed about the, the resources that are provided. So thank you. Um, and so we will leave the vote open for about... Uh, one, one, oh, Council Member Brandon. I'm sorry. Brennan. Uh, permission to explain my vote. Oh, I'm sorry, Council. <laughs> it's okay. Um, permission to explain my vote? Yes. Okay. You may. Um, thank you, uh, Chair Rosia. One, one of the reasons why I, I really wanted to be on this committee was for the work that is done for runaway and homeless youth. So this is a, a very important bill, as are all bills that, um, that touch this space. Um, and I proudly vote aye. Thank you, Council Member. By, by a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the bill has been adopted. Thank you. Do we um, need to leave it open for our next? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. So, um, could you just repeat the, the count, the vote? So, uh, four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Okay. So, um, this vote is now closed and this hearing is adjourned.